everybody. So I'm back at it again with a little eat with me. Um, we're going with the barbecue chicken pasta because it is my favourite. Um, but let's do a little budget talk. Let's do a little budget talk. So again, this is before I start work. Um, it's payday today. So things have been bought and paid for, which is good. All my bills are paid. Um, I got mum's birthday present because it's mum's birthday at the end of the month. So knowing me and because I can't keep a secret, I don't know how much she wants this. Um, she'll probably get it before her birthday, but then I get paid on her birthday again too. So I might take it out or something. So there we go. Um, but yeah. So I got paid 800 and something. I don't remember exactly how much, but it was 800 and something. I'm pretty sure that does not include my overtime. I need to get a hold of my wage slip to find out. But. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just seen somebody come out in one of those little electric motorized scooters. And this boy racer type went up behind him. I was like revving the engine away back there and can't go, yeah. I find that funny. Anywho, so got paid 800 and something, paid my bills, which are quite a lot, but still paid my bills. I took out 200 cash. I've got £66 sitting in one of my banks for fuel because I need fuel. And then I've got another £80. In a completely separate bank account. Just so that I've got a spare £80. Um, now I have already spent some of my £200 that I took out cash. Because. I got food. And I got electric at my boyfriend's because obviously I stay there. I use his electric. Electric costs money. Electric's expensive. So obviously I got him some electric. Because to me it's part of the bills. I'm using it, so pay for it. He needs money more than he needs anything else, so I'll get it when I've got paid. Obviously, he puts in electric as well, but he gets paid different days to me. So, it works out. But yes, this is just a general chit chat while I eat lunch, by the way. This is not me, like, being very much like, ooh, my budget this month, because I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Um, I know I'm bad at saving. Money does literally burn a hole in my pocket. But, what I want to try and do, and the reason I'm not sitting here setting myself a budget is because I find if I set myself a budget, I personally find it harder to stick to that. And be like, so even if I remind myself and be like, oh, I've only got £200 to last me the month. I, 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 mm, I am not sticking to that, not a, not a chance. But I can make it last a bit longer if I don't think about it and just think I need to spend as a necessity. So, at the weekend, tonight after work, I'm gonna go do a small food shop so, it'll just be me getting snacks, some juice, and bits and bobs. So, I, I'm not expecting to spend more than, like, maybe £20 max. But, 
maybe um so yeah i'll be spending about 20 pound hopefully getting like little snacks and just some bits and bobs and stuff so that i have got my little treats and stuff there it is <laughs> try to find my cup holder without looking um so yeah and then at the weekend i'll go because i do stay with my boyfriend mostly during the week because he's closer to work than i am um I obviously do a bit of food shopping for his as well so that I've got like dinners to eat when I come in and lunches to eat before I go to work and whatnot or big breakfast because sometimes I'll just get up at like 10 11 o'clock and just make myself a, a full breakfast full scottish breakfast well nearly because I don't really do haggis and I don't do black pudding or mushrooms or tomatoes not a lie, I can kind of do a tomato, and I can do a mushroom if it's um, cut up really small and the main taste isn't mushroom. Yeah, I'm okay. And funnily enough, I can eat most forms of tomatoes. Tomato sauce, tinned tomatoes, you know, all that. Cannot eat a raw tomato. If you hand me a raw tomato, not going to happen. Even if you cook it and grill it not gonna happen it's just not i don't know why to be fair i blame chemo i 100 percent for my hatred of mushrooms and tomatoes i blame chemo because i was so young i don't really remember a lot of it but i remember bits and me and mum will argue about this right because i woke up and was sick at one point and to this day the way it pay plays back in my brain is it was bolognese that I was that I um, was sick, right? So it was bright red with big chunks of mushroom in it. That's how it plays in my head. According to my mum, it was tomato. According to mum, it was big chunks of tomato. But to me, it's mushroom. So I just don't eat either, really. But I do. Again, as long as it's not the main taste. But, back to my budget-ish. <laughs> um, yeah, I find that just, if as long as I just try and save and be logical with my money, it will last a bit longer than if I'm like, ooh, desperately try save, desperately try save. Whereas I'm just going to go, excuse me, very burpy. Um, I'm go to the shop get what i need put fuel in the car get the stuff i need now i have already set money aside for my nails um i'm going with a nice simple design again um but yes they're my that's my little treat my nails are my treat of the month um so i will be getting my nails done um i can't decide if i want to do them tomorrow morning before work or if I want to do them Saturday. Probably tomorrow morning. It'll be less busy tomorrow morning. But yes. That is. My plan. Is if. I get what I need. Get my spending hit. Um, and then I'm basically just going to try and ignore the money. And pretend I don't have any. I think that's going to work. That is my plan for this month, is to basically lie to myself and pretend I don't have money. Until I need something. But as I said, for the most part, I haven't cash. Um, and I have spare money in the bank, so... I'm not too worried because 
I always like having money in my purse, even if it's just coins. I do always like having money in my purse. So, I know there will forever be something in my purse. So, as long as I just keep telling myself, I've got no money. And, uh, basically just act like I don't then I don't think I'm going to spend as much so I'm not going to lie when the money came in last night and I was awake and I was starving I did go to McDonald's but I'm okay with that you know it was just a little 20 pound treat for me and my boyfriend because neither of us wanted to cook his oven's upsetting me greatly but yeah I just don't like them I accidentally spilt fat in it and I forgot and I turned it on and it did like a big pop thing frightened the life out of me I thought I was going to die like I thought I was about to like die in a gas explosion because this oven like popped next to me and I was like, oh my god. My boyfriend got a good laugh. Um, and then I remembered that I spilled fat on it. And I was like, oh. That's why it's going to pop. So, I cleaned it. I got the pink stuff. I got Brillo pads. And I scrubbed that oven top to bottom. I was manky. Manky. So it won't work. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just choked there. Um, but yeah, I um, I put it on. Expected it to be a bit smoky. Because obviously I've just cleaned the ever-loving shit out of it. <laughs> um... Hoping I leave myself enough edit in there. But, um, yeah, so I've just scrubbed it from here to hell and back again. Uh, and you would have thought I tried to set a bit of wood on fire at it. It was so smoky. But I left it on, tried to let it smoke out. It didn't work, it just got worse. So I've almost broken fire alarms. It was very loud. I was not a fan. But. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. So. Yeah. That's been my thing. Um, so I got McDonald's last night because I was not in mid fight. Not with an oven anyway. That was just not happening. Um, I need to put my purse back in the purse, but yeah, when I'm in the car, my purse lives in my door pocket. Um, partly for the whole thing of if I get pulled, it's easy reach sort of thing. Um, have money fallen out into my back? Yeah, my 6p. Wonderful. Um, that can go in the coin purse, actually. Um, but yeah, um, it's also just because in a lot of my older cars, I didn't have anywhere else to put my purse. So... I just lived there. And now that's my natural instinct. If somebody says where's your purse, I'm like door pocket. I just I just know. I just know. So yeah. But yes. I would have this little chat because that's the technique I'm trying for my budget in this week. Well this month. Is basically get what I need and pretend I don't have money. Hoping that that is how people save. 
is just pretend we don't have any because I don't know how else I'm going to do it. I need to get on the little intranet thing and have a look. And maybe apply to some of the other areas because why not? I just keep going into a little daydream watching leaves flutter about. And no, they're not very interesting. They're starting to change colour, but not really. I wonder. Hmm? No, you can't see the tree there. There's a tree there that's kind of yellow and green. So, it's starting. But, we've not got very far yet. But yeah, that was my budget plan. And we are going to see how we get on. I'll give you the live updates. When I have no money, I will let you know I have no money. But right now, having but coffee, milk, electric, on the essentials. In cash, I've got like £160 something. I don't know, just change in there, just print coins. Yeah. Turn into my granddad a little bit with that. Don't use my change unless I have to. And, um, mostly just sits in there. And I don't know what change I've got until I, like, need it. And then all of a sudden, like, I know down to the penny how much change I have. But I forget again. Because, who needs that? Evidently, I do, but, eh. In all my days, I nearly died. I taught one to long to work, listening to my music, as you do. I don't even remember what I was listening to, but I was listening to something, and I heard a bzz. Oh, it was Dax. I was listening to Dax. Um, the Joker, to be precise. And I heard this little, like, bzz noise and it sounded like a buzz but like where it came from made it sound like i just had something sitting against a speaker and i was like oh to be fair that's probably happened yep like i've got bags in the car that need cleared out and whatnot so i, I thought that like you know a bag had just fallen against my speaker or an empty can or something like that like i didn't think too much of it when i heard it and i was like oh okay yeah. it kind of went with the music so i was like yeah that makes sense all of a sudden, this ginormous, it was about that, it was huge. This one just starts flying away. So I'm trying to drive, not crash my car, right? Car's in front of me, car's behind me, wall to the left of me, humans to the right, right? And I'm sitting there desperately trying to put down both my windows, like, ah! And it was like coming over here, and I was like, oh my god, trying to put down my window so it would go out. And it flew over to the other side of the car, and then it sat. Like, right here, for ages, with my window down, absolute ages, have I say it, just get out of my car, I don't like wasps, I've touched wood, I have never been stung in my life, I do not intend to ever <laughs> get stung, um, my boyfriend's dad's side of the family are all deathly allergic, like deathly allergic, to wasp things. Um, his has never been proven. So he doesn't have an EpiPen. Um, but it's like one of those situations where he's not had it proven for him. Because evidently to find out if you're allergic, you apparently just need to get stung. Well, at least that was what they said to him at the time. Um, and he's never been stung. Um... But they've got like an EpiPen and everything on standby. And it's all there for if 
it's needed. Uh, like if he does get stung, I can pretty much just phone up the doctors for him and be like, yo guys, he's just been stung and then I'll bring him in and they'll stab him with an EpiPen. So that's okay. Um, they are presuming he is because most of his dad's side of the family are. His mum's side aren't. Like as far as I'm aware, from the stories I've heard, his brother, well his half brother, isn't allergic. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's not allergic to bees and wasp things. Whereas, I don't think he's allergic to too much actually. I don't think I've heard of any, him being allergic to anything. But, that's his older brother. He's got two older brothers and a younger brother, but he only speaks to one of them. Uh, so his older brother, yeah, isn't allergic to anything. My boyfriend seems to be allergic to wasps and red ants. That's his two death allergies. A wasp and ants. Mine at the minute is nuts. I am gaining an allergy to nuts. Um, I think as well peaches and pineapples. That's making me really upset. Um... So I pretty much just haven't eaten any peaches or pineapples. The doctor was like, have another go and like, you know, just keep an eye on things that are giving you these allergic reactions. And um, I ate pineapple to like cleanse my palate and well, because I wanted pineapple. I was eating it and it made my mouth itchy and I got really upset, like really upset. And I've just refused to eat pineapple ever since because if I'm allergic, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I really don't because pineapple is just it's amazing I like some people are like some people said to me since that happened I mean like oh I am um, Look at that. Oh yeah, I like I became allergic to this because I never ate it, and I'm like, darling, I eat pineapple once a month. What? Where's this allergy come from? Nuts. I get, I get the nuts right because I'm not a big nut person. I was when I was younger. I used to love me a good pack of salted peanuts, and even just a few years ago. I was happy eating my salted peanuts. But it was at the start of the year when we were going down to Cornwall. And I went to go have some peanuts. Um, I had some. Not a lot. I had some. Didn't get an itchy mouth or anything like that. But I didn't, I didn't feel right. And then it was only when I was eating my happy hippos. Which are kinder. So they've got hazelnut in them. Because it's the hazelnut chocolate like they're telling you. Happy hippos kinder. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, and that was me. So we have taken a bit of a detour off my budget, but oh well. We love a general ca car chit chat. We love. So I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've had something nice to munch with me, or something nice to drink, or I kept you company while you did something. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.